So the Carmen and Cora things have gotten a little bit deeper. Now Cora have been saying for a while now that he's unable to see his kids. He's saying that Carmen is keeping him from his kids. She made a statement in one of her videos where she said he does not deserve to see his kids. Well, Cora was not finna play with her in the internet. He decided he gonna take it to court. So he made a post. Lord just called. I'm getting full custody of my boys. Told y'all. Just be patient. You'll always win the battle. He can't stop smiling. Well, we don't know how true it is that he has, he's getting full custody. We do know he's been throwing out that allegation of her being illegal. So, deportation, maybe something he's talking about. Or he can just be, you know, talking and chatting. Because if she hadn't done anything wrong, full custody, mm, but... This is my opinion, but y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments down below. Corey did speak on it. He's upset because everybody's calling him bitter for one full custody of his sons. Well, guys, I got to say, I'm a happy man today. And respect me, with all of due respect, to any female that got a problem with me getting custody of my boy, you can suck my d I swear to God, you can suck my d bitch. Because it be you dusty ass hoes, you lame ass bitch, you broke ass hoes, hoes out here looking for a nigga to take care of you, looking for a nigga come up and take care of you and your kids but you know what i'm saying when a real father here trying to take care of his kids and uh build ass keeping his kids away from them like y'all do we the bad guys because we want to see our kids you know what i'm saying like then y'all always say that shit but y'all the reason why y'all keeping the kids from the niggas like i don't understand that you know what i'm saying so in this situation i win my lawyer just called me told me hey court congratulations you know what i'm saying you've been approved like you you either gonna happen so i'm just sitting here chilling and just like you know I suffered. I kept quiet. And now I'm going to get my kids and have my kids with me. You know what I'm saying? And I need child support. So, <laughs> straight up. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments down below. Mm, you, do you think Cora deserves full custody? you think Carmen is right or wrong for keeping him from his kids? Let me know in the comments down below. I can only imagine what a lot of you other men going through that's dealing with this same type of shit. <laughs> off social media that's like they're not famous man and it's funny because i'm sitting here and i'm really just watching people like it's okay if the father can't see his kids if the father it's, it's okay if the mother keep the father away from his kids it's okay if the mother not let the kids talk to their father but when the father actually fight to actually be in his kid's life and the father say you know what since i can't see my kids i'm gonna go to court and i'm gonna let the court deal with it the father's the bad guy now. But you know what's so crazy? I only see females that are trying to say that I'm bitter. Well, let me tell y'all something. This is why a lot of y'all in the position y'all in now. This is why a lot of y'all have stepfathers to see y'all kids because at the end of the day, y'all try y'all best to hold the kids from the father. And when the father actually got their step up to being a kid life, it's a problem. It's so the girls are fighting. CJ got the girls fighting. So let me try to brief it, give you a brief of what happened. Part one. Anyway, so it was a picture where CJ said something to Lexi and then somebody made a comment and said, I remember he told Tosh how the same thing. I guess he'd be lying. Lexi said, she's literally rebounding every single situation. Please don't bring up old news. I don't want to block you. Tata got that message, heard about it. She was like, rebound, be for real. So that started them with the whole fighting situation. So now recently that Lexi was having a conversation with a, um, a blog about allegedly Tata boyfriend being looking like one of the guys that actually robbed CJ house. So that made Tata and Lexi go at it once again. So Tata was on live yesterday. Um, going back and forth with i guess another uh t page and she was doing something like an interview i guess and she was speaking on the whole situation with lexi and how it came about and what actually happened racist because my nigga's black and he got tattoos what is it because your nigga black and he got tattoos so what's going on for real what do you mean he looked like one of the people that robbed tj house that makes no sense because from my knowledge the people that robbed tj house was little kids so make it make sense no, we said the same thing. We definitely feel like it was stereotyping because, and then also in the same sentence, why, why is that something even a dunking matter if he almost lost his life? 
I don't know, man. That's on him. He want to deal with that. He could deal with that. But she want to have a problem with me. Cool. We can have a problem. She she don't want to have a problem. We don't got to have a problem. It's all up to her. She keep talking shit to me, about me to everybody else. And just just trying to make me be in the mix for what? This what you want. This what you asking for. Basically, you asking for it without asking for it. You want me to be in the mix. You want to have a problem with me. And then he try to you try to make the no, situation. No, they're not still together. She has a hold of me, and I don't even know why they still. Are they still together? No, I don't talk to CJ. That's what I'm saying. I haven't talked to this man since the beginning of this year. Let it be. And mm-hmm. then, and then my whole thing about him saying that I scammed him and I did this. Well, I claimed that I scammed him and I did this and I blah blah blah. Okay, so I just seen you at the at the beginning of this year, and not even the beginning of this year. This was like a couple months ago. With this, the messages that I had show um that I had posted, and what what was that August or whatever. I had just seen you. So if a motherfucker trying to scam you or they trying to do some crazy stuff to you, you still want to invite them to your house two years later? You still going to talk to them within the span of two years later? No. All that is for clout. He do everything for clout, even with the situation with his daughter and whatever that he just did. All for clout. Like, and then you trying to tarnish my name while you going with it. No. No. Right, right. And I know, and I know you talked to somebody new right now. Did you ever have feelings for CJ when y'all was dealing with each other? Fuck him. <laughs> it don't matter if I had feelings. Fuck him. Simple as that. Not him. I talked to CJ. You the one put. You the one got a phone here. So then they get to the point where, you know, Tata and Nike was at some point in time. They was cool. You know what I'm saying? They was vibing, whatever. She was in Vegas. They both were in Vegas. That's when. Uh, CJ was messing with her, so she basically said she don't really mess with nobody on that side because Nike said it previously, but I don't know if she heard about it. But Nike did say that, you know, that mm, ain't no ain't no beef, but it ain't no relationship. So the other T page asked her that same question and want her to hook up with royalty on pretty much hating Lexi and Nike, and she was like, Nah, I'm good on that. So, do you and Tata still have a, a, a friendship? No. Okay. So and, after, and I, I don't, I honestly don't know like what really the issue is for the simple fact. Um, whatever happened with him, my baby daddy got into it. Uh, I guess she had unfollowed me on Instagram, and I had seen on one of the T pages that. They was like, um, Tata follows Nike. I wonder, is it, you know, issues or whatever. So when I had went and looked, I'm like, oh, she don't follow me? Okay, I bet. I don't follow her. She had texted right. me. was like, call me when you get a chance so we can talk. But it was like, at the end of the day, y'all know me. I ain't looking for friends. I ain't looking for none of that. So I didn't even respond. It's like, you did what you did. It is what it is. Like, we ain't got to talk about it. When I follow, right. uh, you know who, she hit There's me up. Like, why you, ain't, why you ain't tell me? Why you ain't called me for the fight? I would have came and helped you, but it's like we ain't cool. We ain't like we ain't weak, but we ain't cool. Why would I think to be like, oh, let me hit Tata up so we can go and fight Shorty? Like I ain't need no backup when it came to that type shit. So like it ain't no smoke, but no, we ain't cool. What's your uh, friendship like with Nike right now? I don't talk to Nike. Like she cool or whatever, and then somebody asked me like, oh, did you say that you was gonna help her beat Roti up? No, I said when the situation happened with her and, and Lexi, and Lexi was running from her and running from her mama, yeah, or running from her I wasn't around for none of this shit. <laughs> and her and Lexi was running from it. Y'all know the whole situation when they was out there fighting or whatever. I said I would have did more for you. I would have really stood there for you. I would have popped her mama, popped whoever was in the way. I don't care. That's what I texted her. I'm like, yeah, she had you messed up. I would have did more for you. Da, 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 da. Lexi, like, oh yeah, I'm already knowing or whatever she said. Like, oh well, thank you. I don't even remember what she said, but she said what she said. I'm going to problem with Nike. Me and Nike, we left off on good terms. But it's like, I don't associate with nobody over on his side. For what? Except for D-Lo. D-Lo's the only person that's been real to me through the whole thing because he understands and he knows when CJ tried to say that I scammed him, that it was fake. That it was, it was not a real thing. Like, the messages he posted, cool. Like, you did that for clout. You did everything for clout. You exploit everything for clout. Cause you need views and you need money. D Lo was the only one that seen through all that. Then he met, he wound up not being cool with D Lo. It's like everybody that's been real around him wound up not being cool. Like the white girl around him, she using him. Everybody know that. But I said what I said that if I'm friends with you, I'm a step for you. That's basically what's going on with this situation. So y'all let me know in the comments down below. 
they spilled some real tea. Tata, like, you know what? I'm tired of it. It is what it is. So, when they came back, what Tata said about not messing with Nike and everybody else, Nike heard about it, so she decided she'll respond. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. Whatever I said once, I can most definitely say it again. Who is going to check me? Weird, miserable, ugly, rainbow, where I want my attention so bad. Like I said, ain't no static with Shorty. I just don't F with her, period. So Nike pretty much double down, stand down on what she said, because she said it, and it is what it is. But y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation in the comments down below. It shouldn't be no real beef, but who's making it more beef? Is it Tata or Lexi? Y'all let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about the situation. But y'all know what to do. Hit that like button. Comment, subscribe. I'm out.